What's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be working on my headliner on my truck. Uh, I have a 2003 Chevy Silverado. Anyways, I'm gonna take out the headliner. I'm gonna show you guys what I've done so far. So my headliner is pretty all like jacked up. As you guys can tell, it's already peeling. It's got some stains and it has a little rip right there. But uh, I'm gonna change it out. Probably, I already ordered the suede, the black suede. Uh, it should be coming in next week. I'm thinking about ordering some starlight, starlights for it, but I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, this thing's already, it's just old and it's already peeling. So I look better with the, with the black suede, especially with the dark charcoal seats. I'm gonna start working on the headliner. I'm gonna take off the old headliner and then put some suede. I got some black suede right here for the headliner. Then I got the lights right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. The lights are right here. Fiberglass size, 550 piece by the way. All right, so I got the handle off. I'm gonna start working on the actual headliner to remove it. And I'm just gonna peel away. Looks like some draws, dude. You're gonna dump this and throw this in the trash. So I'm gonna sand it down, guys. I'm gonna get rid of all the old glue. All right, so I'm using a stainless steel brush. Um, like I said, you're gonna have to slightly press on it. Do not push a lot of pressure onto the headline because you will mess up the fiberglass and really you're just trying to scrape off the old adhesive. That's all you're trying to do. Slightly press on it. So I'm gonna start working on the headliner and show you guys how to do it. Let's get it. guys so that took about an hour and 45 minutes i got two scrapes in the headliner one right there one right there not too bad uh, i'm gonna go ahead and start putting some black suede headliners All right, so what I'm doing, I'm just putting all the glue on all the sides that I didn't go over, like right here, this corner. Um, this whole thing right here, I'm gonna eventually get it all wrapped around, but I'm just finishing up some of the touches. Right, so I did some minor trimming. I glued on the sides. Now I'm gonna flip it on its back and then glue all the sides over. That way it can be looking real clean and tucked in. So there it is right there, the black suede headliner. Everything's all looking real good. Just has some fur on it because my dog. But um, yeah, everything's tucked in. It's gonna look even cleaner whenever the dome light's on and the, the middle light's on. 
I did wrap the sun visors suede as well. I did paint the trim on it. Uh, not too bad. It looks pretty good. Yeah. I think it came out pretty decent for my first try, honestly. It's just a little dirty. I do have some like glue right there, but I'll probably clean it off later. Some right there, but not too bad. It's going to look real clean with it. I'm thinking about putting my like my name right there under there, like my app for my YouTube channel underneath the sun visors for the for the driver's side. So that way when I lift it up, it'll show that uh it'll show my name on there. I'm gonna start working on the headliner now guys. Uh, I'm gonna have to poke 550 holes and run them through. Four panels right now, one, two, three, four. Um I'm gonna do use four hundred stars for each of these squares. And I'm going to, when it gets closer to the dome light, I'm going to probably put more stars around the dome light area just to have that middle cluster look in the middle. I do want to use 150 stars for my app. I'm still thinking about it, but I'm going to start working on each of these 100 spots. I'm going to mark them down. Now it's time to install some of these star lights, and it's going to be on the, it's going to be coming from the B pillar side. So I'm going to start with this left side and work my way back. You know what? This corner, and I'll work my way that way, and then then to the left. Let's get started, man. I know it's going to take forever, but uh, yeah, we'll start somewhere. So, I already finished my name. I got this hundred side. I'm working on this hundred. Now I'm gonna be working on that hundred. All right, guys. As you can tell, I'm using a glue gun, a hot glue gun, and I'm gluing down the ends of the fiber, just because uh, whenever I snip it, it'll fall through the other side if I don't put any glue. So. That's why I'm putting the glue and I'm working on that. I'll let you guys check it out whenever I'm done. All right, so I got everything glued down. Uh, I got it taped up here and there, but I think it's almost ready to drop in the, to throw it in the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the truck, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little clip of it. All right, look at that guys. That looks beautiful. It's a little purple vibes, but um, I'm gonna throw it in the, in the truck and then cut all the excess fibers. And then I might make it look a little more pretty, put some more taper on it to make sure that it's kind of like tucked in. But it's not too bad, as you guys could tell. It's pretty, uh, it's not the neatest, but it's still pretty good for, for what it is. I mean, it's pretty tucked in. Everything's not too like puffed up like crazy. It's just that little part right there, but probably put some tape. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Or it looks like a jellyfish. <laughs> On the Bluetooth, you can you can control it on the Bluetooth on your phone. Let's go. That shit looks badass. I absolutely love it. It looks beautiful. All right, guys. I'm going to install it now. All right. As you guys can tell, we got it in. Now we're just hanging, but we're going to slowly start bolting it up and putting it back to how it was before. Guys, I know it's not the best for lighting outside. It's dark outside, but uh, when you install your headliner, make sure you put everything back. Dome light. The middle light and then don't forget your third brake light you got to make sure you feed that wire through that little tiny hole right there i don't know if you guys can see that right there and that way you can feed it through the back and plug it in if not then you're gonna have to like try to grab a hook and catch that wire through that little hole 
because there's a plate over there on that side that blocks that whole freaking uh, spot to look at the headliner from the third brake light. So make sure you do that. Then you go ahead and grab it from the other side, plug it in. I already plugged this wire in. This is the wire to the, the fuse box at the bottom. It goes from the top of the headliner underneath to these fuse, fuses, the brown one. That brown one right there and then that white one up top i think that, that white one's for your uh your rear view mirror for the temperature so i did that i put those two in and that's also power to your to your dome light and your middle light but yeah i'm gonna start finishing up this and uh get right back to you guys Okay, so i'm in the truck right now and i wasn't able to finish last night but i did install most of the headliner i just got two little pins in the back on the back side and then i got that little quarter i mean i got the little that little panel right here on the side but i'm gonna start trimming everything down um last night i only trimmed enough just so i could drive doing is uh, i'm trying to push a little bit onto the headliner that way it can that way uh, all the stars could be flushed a little bit i don't want it to be poking out too much to where it'll cut your hand if you run your hand over it so just get if you're gonna do it like that just kind of like give it a little push not give you guys an update when i'm done snipping all of them so stay tuned all righty guys i think i'm on the last strain so here's the last one to pick all right so that's about it guys right there that looks pretty good probably look even better at night to be honest but, uh, there's the white that looks beautiful I love it. And then my name, it did, it came out pretty decent. It's not bad. The name. Yes, yeah, Sersky. The name didn't come out too bad. It's pretty good. And it's perfect. It fits right underneath the visor that way. Uh, when I put it down, you can see it. But, yeah. That's pretty cool. It's a little custom a little bit. I can't really see the end too much on this. I don't know why it's not lighting up. I don't know if maybe they it got cut or, or I don't know. But there's like three or four of them right here for to complete the end that did it. Match put. Ah, not too bad. There it is, guys. The Starlight Headliner in the Silverado. I'm going to hide the this behind that panel. I just have it plugged into this car cigarette for now. But um I'm eventually going to wire it to the power on the amp and then the ground obviously. I like the upgrade, it's beautiful. I love it. Alrighty guys, so I got my Starlight Headliner. Um, it's connected to my amp, so every time I put the key in my ignition and I start it, um, it turns on automatically and it turns off when I take the key off. There. See how it turns off by itself? Well, yeah, so I'll show you guys the connection right now and how I did that, but uh, so far this is what it's looking like. Let me turn that. Let me close the windows down and roll the windows down. Alrighty, so here's the outside view of it, inside looking. Starlights do change colors. I'm gonna show you guys how I wired it up. But yeah, everything came out pretty good. How I hit the starlights in the rear, uh, the starlights are right here and they come in, they come down this this panel behind it, and uh, the box is connected inside this back panel right here. The wiring and everything is connected to the amp. So with the amp. Uh, let me get a flashlight for you guys. All right, so when it came down to the wiring on the Starlight Headliner, it came with one black and one red wire that uh, I had cut and spliced from the uh, carport charger. And I put the positive wire to the remote section on the amp. That way when I turn the ignition on, it's gonna give that red wire power. And then obviously for the black wire, I just connected to the ground on the amp as well. So that worked that worked out perfect. And uh, every time I turn the key, the starlights turn on. And every time I turn it off and close the doors and everything, lock it, the starlights turn off. So uh, yeah, that's how I did it. Um, so there's the starlights right there, the headliner. And it came down to hiding the fibers. They just kind of come down from the headline headliner and they come down this back panel i hit them behind it 
Let's see if I can pop it in right now. Actually, I can't. Okay. All right, let's check it out. Here's a headliner right here. And then the wiring, fiber optic, it just goes straight down. I pushed it behind the pillar and uh, it goes all the way down to the box that I put down there. Um, but what I didn't do guys, what I'm going to do eventually. For the fiber optics at night, you can see in the back right here from the windshield, uh, a little glare from the glow. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting some black tape over that and making sure that uh, the the light from the, the fiber optics don't show the in the back because I do get like a little glare off that. Eventually I'll get that back to what I, how I want it. But yeah, guys, that's how I hit it, hit it back there. The box is down here. The box is down here along with the wiring. I do need to clean up the wiring and stuff. It's kind of like kind of all crazy right here. And then obviously there's two 12s I have in the back. They're gonna eventually get uh, pushed on this side over here, uh, diagonal wise. Or I might, I wanna see if I can maybe put them right in the middle, cut it, I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe I might get captain seats for the rear. That way I could try to fit this box. If not, I might have to get a custom box, but that's later on. But for the Starlight Headliner, headliner guys, everything came out pretty good. Everybody loves it. Uh, it, it does definitely change the, the feel of the truck whenever you're inside of it. I do need to change that middle light to uh, some some LEDs. Kind of looks funny because the front the front do have LEDs. But yeah. Yeah, that's about it, guys. If you guys like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated and uh, posting more videos on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Peace. Speak the truth, truth. She bury me up with a lies. Five star on this cue. Okay. Gotta balance the lows and highs. Don't call on my phone or I'm getting fried. Then I say I was gonna be great. How the fuck you think that lie? 2023, you ain't touch no cake. I'm from the dirt, my greatest escape. Low up the gang, got open the gate. He said he riding, he moves like a snake. I got loose ends and I'm giving up place. He said he jumped and shit in my waist. I ain't have a thing and they left my face. I blew the whole thing and the shit got replaced. Sat on my fame for the love and the drink, but the pain in my dreams and I scratch on my Okay. Oh.